Hey guys, Eitan, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are taking a trip to the Middle East and we are making some classic schnitzel. Super simple, super easy to make, and it's just a winner, winner chicken dinner, as Guy Fieri would say. So let's just get started. Right over here I have some chicken breasts, and all I'm gonna do is cut a little slit in the side of the chicken breast, because we're gonna pound it out. One thing that you want to make, you want to make a really good schnitzel, is you want it to be super, super thin. So we want to kind of butterfly it and make a cut down the center to cut it in half of the original thickness. There we go. And then once you do that, you're going to put it on the inside of a bag, or you can even do a plastic bag, or you can even do this in, um, you can just use like two pieces of plastic wrap. Either of those will work. Then using a chicken mallet, you're just going to hit it until it gets nice and thin. While I'm hitting this, what I'm doing is I'm hitting it towards the center and hitting it out, which is gonna make it thinner. Okay, there we go. And the reason that we thin this out is because when it's super thin and even, it'll cook evenly and stay super juicy. So I'm just gonna set this aside over here because we're gonna bread that in a second anyways. And I'm gonna repeat that step with the other piece of chicken. Okay, there we go. And now meanwhile on my stovetop, I have a cast iron skillet that is heating up with some oil in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chicken and we're doing a three step breading process. First into some all purpose flour. Make sure you coat every last piece. Then straight into some beaten egg. And it's very helpful to have this all pre-done before you do the chicken so that you can just easily do it. There we go. Let all the excess drain off. And then straight into some panko breadcrumbs that were seasoned with some salt and pepper earlier. Okay, there we go. You wanna make sure every last piece is covered in the panko breadcrumbs. Okay, perfect. And I'm just gonna place this over here while I bread the second piece of chicken. Okay, so this is now finished being breaded and we're gonna put it straight into the oil that I've been preheating. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. And uh, let's add in our other piece of chicken. There we go. Now, I'm gonna let these fry away for a few minutes per side until they are golden brown on each side. And meanwhile, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, these look ready to flip. They wanna be very careful when flipping these. I'm actually gonna grab the knife. There we go. Oh, look at that, nice and golden brown. All right, this one got a little bit crispier uh, than we might want, but that's okay, you can just scrape those off. All right, so this piece of schnitzel looks like it is now done frying up. Oh my God, that looks incredible. I'm gonna let this one cook now for just uh, another few seconds. Okay, there we go. Our second piece of chicken is now done frying. I'm just going to top these off with a little bit of salt while they're nice and hot. And let's move these over onto our serving dish right over here. There we go. Now let's grab a knife and fork. It's very uh, helpful to have these back here. Here we go. I got some like rustic ones going on. You guys know I like the rustic style. And that is how easy it is to make your own homemade schnitzel. It is super easy, super quick to make. You can spend more time if you want to like perfectly make sure that it's like perfectly golden brown around the whole thing. Uh, I'm not too much of a stickler about that. Uh, as long as it tastes good and looks good to me, it is all good to go. Okay, let's cut into it right now. Oh, look 
at that. It is super juicy on the inside. Look at that right over here. Now, when you pound out that chicken super thin, it cooks evenly. The inside is very juicy. The outside is nice and crunchy, and that just looks absolutely incredible. Now I'm gonna dip this into some tahina. Here we go, and look at that. That just looks absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. I don't know if you heard that while it was chewing, but it is super crunchy on the outside, super soft and juicy on the inside. It is the perfect homemade schnitzel. It is the definition of a winner winner chicken dinner. If you guys want to make this at home, as always, the link to the recipe is in the description box below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed watching the video. And I want you to comment down below what is your favorite chicken recipe. If you have a recipe you want to share with me, leave that down below. I'd love to see it. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that big red subscribe button to be the first to know when I post new videos. Okay, I'm going to go enjoy eating the rest of the schnitzel. Thanks for watching. Bye.